Hello, everyone. This is a gamer, and I'm going today. I'm going to be going over the coolest things in Slice Bread Adventure Quest Worlds version 1.0. And as you can see, I've started in an odd places to select server just to go over this. Da -da -da. Now everyone can go on the PTR if you remember. So no more having to search through a little blog dingy. And according to my sources, which I don't know to be true, this is the only place to get PVP still. But yeah, I'm going to go over everything. That's changed so far. It's like, whoa, it looks like a totally different game. Not really. Well, kind of. See at the bottom? It looks different, doesn't it? And what's this? Character panel. Yes, we have stats now. And as of right now, I'm using a rank 1 rogue, but... Hold on, let me get to my real character here. Good. Warrior, and now my stats are gonna go up because it's ranked 10. See, attack power 142, 38, all the skills. There's only five ranks now. That's kind of freaky. They're like half did, but how am I still ranked 10? That's a little weird, isn't it? Oh, whatever. And then stats. You can see all the little pluses, that's the armor and stuff, so I've got higher than it says. Like this is just the class, but this, these are like the bonuses. And I don't know about y'all, but I have it set so my class has the classes upgrade. Like warrior has the fighter type upgrade, ninja has the balance, rogue has the thief, so on and so forth. And then this is what I'm going to show you too. The colors match the class or it's upgrade type. Like warrior or the fighter type upgrade has the red. Rogue type has the green, the hybrid, which is like ninja pals and stuff, has the most balanced, has the like brownish yellow thing, orange, whatever. Mages have the blue background and healers have the white background. So, yep. And then they also added a few items. They changed up the shops too, like notice over here. Like there's still this, but now you can get everything you need at the class shop. Notice see too that guy has dual knives. Guess what? They added yeah, dual knives. You know here's enhancements, but all it does is tell you where you can buy them and that's like the class enhancements now. There is no normal. Like if you want normal, then you're gonna have to go for the ninja one. And like that guy said, the bosses are supposed to be harder I don't know about that yet and then also they've half like the requirements like I turned this on I had like 90,000 EXP it was like maybe 20 30 percent and then I was like 200 percent they have to stop they bumped the level cap to 30 and like halved everything and then like your rep thing is supposed to have gone down too you don't need to do as much so they just going to make the game easier too it's not much difference but there's the character panel, the thingy, and then PvP is supposed to be here somewhere. Now it's hard getting around this new thing. But, hmm, I have no clue where the PvP would be. I guess what I heard was true, and you can only do it on the PTR, but, yep. So that's been 1.0. Hold on, let me go see if I can find the PvP real quick. If not, this is the end of the movie. This has been 1.0. And from me and my avatar. Okay, since there is no PvP yet, we're going to examine the trainers who now serve a purpose. Yeah, they actually have a purpose now. They sell the enhancements for the type you want, like Doc here. So there's your fighter enhancements. Focuses on strength and endurance dexterity. You know. The rogues and stuff have dexterity, strength, and endurance. Let's see, mages have intellect, endurance, and luck. And healers have intellect, endurance, and wisdom. And I'm not going to jump to the ninja right now, but the balanced one, the hybrid or whatever, has every stat but wisdom go up. So, yep. This has been 1.2, or 1.0.
Too bad I can't show you PvP. I will make a video as soon as that comes out, so... Oh, it's not working, what the heck? Hmm.